This morning in prayer, I invite you, as you are comfortable, to participate by following my prompts for simple movement at the beginning of our time in prayer together. Let us go to God in prayer. God of imagination, we ask for you to carry us in prayer to a place of holy encounter. Like Ezekiel in the valley, show us a new and fresh word for these dry and brittle days. Bringing our hands to our chest, we ask you, God who causes breath to enter us, as a community, we breathe deeply of your spirit. Asking for you to animate us again with your energy, unity, and courage. Wrapping our hands around our arms, God who lays sinews on us, we feel the muscles and ligaments in our bodies, and we praise you for your creative strength that binds each of our bodies together and multiplies that power by gathering us to be the body of Christ in the world. And as we extend our arms, God who wraps each of us in flesh, we give you thanks for unifying us with Jesus Christ, the word made flesh who for our sake extended his arms on the cross to embrace the whole world. We feel your presence here in worship and prayer. So we lay down before you all of the worries that make us feel dried up, hollow of hope and cut off completely. Almighty Lord, hear our prayers. For the graves we stand before and have stood before in the last year, we ask you to help us continue to honor and celebrate those lives, lives that are so precious to you, lives that we entrust to you because we are your resurrection people, and we trust that they now rest in your eternal arms. We pray for all who grieve, and we ask you to be their comfort. Be the divine physician, Lord, for those who are facing a scary diagnosis. Guide their doctors and bring them and their loved ones peace. God of dry bones, we are perhaps cut off from hope because we are cut off from each other. So we pray for those whose relationships, addictions, or employment status leave them feeling alienated and alone. We pray for those amongst us, within us, and far distant from us, who feel themselves swept up in anger, resentment, and cynicism. God, our reservoir of grace, help us to be caught up again in the waters of our baptism, those waters that claim and deliver us into a community that models your radical love to the world. We pray too for our society, where so many things drive wedges between us. Gender, class status, race, sexual orientation, party affiliation, perceived judgments, and ill-conceived theologies. God, you say you will raise these dry bones up collectively, yet we resist our neighbor even when our deliverance is tied up with theirs. We lay down the lies we believe about one another, right here, right now. And we ask you to rattle us free from the cages the enemy has cleverly crafted, so we might experience the unifying power of your saving grace. Instruct us in the weeks and months ahead on how we, mere mortals, might call forth life by the power of your spirit. We long to bear witness to the bones of this world rattling a new refrain, rising up in harmony to lay down new roads forward where your compassion carves out level ground. Your spirit guides us in seeking a shared path 
and each of us pick up tools of construction rather than weapons of destruction so we can begin again to participate in fashioning your kingdom here on earth. Just as Jesus Christ has brought forth and is bringing forth your reign in this world, we bring forth our prayers and wrap them together with the prayer Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen.